Do you have trouble practicing the child's pose, balasana? Then you're not the only one. What you're going to get out of today's session are a few more ways on how to make this pulse a little bit more comfortable. My name is Chi and you're welcome to day 13 of the Transformation Series. I'm so pleased to have you back, day 13 already. That means this is the final week, the third week and final week. And I want to really hear from you. I want to hear about your progress. Please let me know further down in the comment section. I will read all the comments and answer them. So, Balasana, the child's pose. Very, very complicated pose if you have injuries. So today you will need pillows, perhaps a blanket, your mat, and we will get started right away. So you will come on all fours and hands and knees, and that is already the challenge for many of you. You have weak knees or a knee injury, and you're actually afraid to bring weight onto the knees, not to talk of sit the way I do right now. So let's start slowly. Remember, we're taking baby steps. So let's take one pillow at a time. Let's use this pillow below the knees. And let's understand also that we're not actually bringing weight onto the kneecaps, but below, onto the space below the kneecaps. So you are on all fours. You have your palms on the ground the knees on the ground, and you use a pillow for the knee. Check in with your body and feel what that feels like. Isn't this much better for your knees? You can tuck the toes under and just take a few moments to Settle in. Take a few deep breaths in and out. And notice that this position, and this is the first time we find ourselves on hands and knees, also has an impact on the whole body. In the first week, we were basically all on the back or on the side. In the second week, we did a lot on the tummy. And now the third week, we're starting, or we've, we're starting the third week by standing or kneeling, staying on hands and knees. And that means that the floor, gravity, the mat supports us in a different way. So just notice all of that going on at the same time. The palms resting on the ground, on the mat, you spread the fingers. Ideally, you move the little fingers to the outer edges of the mat. Try to lock your elbows, which means that the crease of your elbows points away from the knees. Tuck the toes under and feel the knees on the ground. So basically, there is not that much weight on your knees. Take a few deep breaths in and out, explore your rib cage. Move the rib cage. And move the rib cage out of the pelvis. I will get you, I'll give you more and more cues that you're unfamiliar with. And what that means is that you want to expand the rib cage, that you open up the rib cage that can make more and more space in your lungs and not only in the front of the lungs but also you try to breathe into the backs of the lungs. At this point please point the toes and very very slowly try and move your buttocks towards the heels as you exhale. Now perhaps this is as far as you get. The buttocks does not touch the heels and that is absolutely fine. 
At this point, let's try to separate the knees a little bit wider. Perhaps one of your knees is more sensitive than the other, or you use a bigger pillow, or you use two pillows, and really separate them much with Perhaps your big toes touch each other and perhaps this way you can get the buttocks a little bit further down. But perhaps your buttocks still doesn't touch the soles of your feet which is still absolutely fun. Let's move the blanket here under the buttocks. Do you feel the difference? You notice that you can actually begin to relax the buttocks, the lower back. Mm. And then we can actually stretch out the arms towards the top of the mat and rest the forehead. Perhaps your forehead does not touch the ground. Then at this point, use a pillow and rest it under the forehead. So, buttocks resting on a blanket or on a big pillow, knees resting on the mat, or rather on pillows and then on the mat, and your forehead resting on a pillow. Can you now see that you actually begin to relax the body? Perhaps you feel a sensation along the inner thighs, bit like in the butterfly shape, that's absolutely fine. Sometimes it takes a while for us to get into a comfortable position in this child's pose. And at this point, you take a few breaths into the ribcage, breathing in and out. Try to breathe into the backs of the lungs. And with every exhalation, Soften, relax, and let go. If this feels comfortable, then you can actually move your arms backwards towards your legs, towards your feet, and turn the palms up and let go. But only stay here if this is really comfortable for you. Keep breathing in and out. And with every exhalation, let your forehead soften and spread. Let the corners of your eyes soften and spread. Let the corners of the lips soften and spread. And breathe in and out. Stay here as long as you want. The child's pose is a restorative pose. This is a pose you can practice perhaps before going to bed. Perhaps you had a busy day at work and you want to switch your mind off. Then you can practice the breathing exercise you practice in day one together with this child's pose. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and have a lovely day. You're gonna see. If you want customized sequences for your specific health condition, then come on over to thebodyconditioner.com and do your online quiz. The online quiz is an online assessment, a body assessment that helps me literally see your body and then send you customized sequences. What do you have to lose? Accept your pain. If you like the transformation series, click like and please subscribe down here. Share the sequences with every person you feel may benefit from it and make sure to click that notification bell up there to get notified anytime I release a new sequence.